let us discuss this very important theorem of continuous function okay so what we have we have two matrix spaces x d and y d dash f is a function from x to y right what we have to prove we have to prove that f is continuous at a point x if and only if this condition will satisfy okay a lot of things i have written here we will discuss all these things one by one okay so if and only if part is there that means we need to assume first part we have to prove second part after that we have to assume second part and we have to prove first part let us do that by assuming first thing assume that assume that if is if is continuous at x belongs to x okay and all these things we have to prove i will write i will not write all things here uh, simply i will draw a diagram with the help of that diagram we can easily understand what is a given thing okay what we have we have two matrix spaces this is a matrix space xd this is matrix space xd and we have one more matrix spaces one more matrix space that is y d dash so f is a function from where to where x to y so there is one point x given that or that means we have assumed that f is continuous at this point x getting and what we have to prove for every open set open subset u of y containing f of x getting so that means x is here so obviously its image will be there f of x so f of x will be here so there is an open set okay there is one open set u containing f of x what we have to prove we have to prove that there exist an open subset v of x there exist an open subset v of capital x containing small x such that f of v is a subset of u this thing we have to prove okay so we'll start with basic things and we will prove it so we have we have we have x belongs to capital x right x belongs to capital x obviously f of x belongs to y x is here then f of x will be there here f of x belongs to u that is a given thing okay this is a given part and u is open that is also given thing for every open subset u of y okay that is given so u is any open set containing f of x right so you remember the definition of open set there exists radius r such that there will be an open ball okay containing f of x which is subset of u so by definition of open set we can write so therefore there exists epsilon greater than 0 normally in a definition of open set we use r but here i am using epsilon since i am going to use continuity also getting so it will be better to use epsilon should be greater such that such that such that open ball okay in y d dash with center f of x radius epsilon that is subset of u i will call it as one okay so there will be an open ball around f of x okay with radius epsilon which is subset of u so this is a given uh, thing we have got okay i am calling it as one but there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further let us use the given thing now that function f is continuous at x so therefore i can use the definition of continuity now right so here f is continuous at x you remember the definition of continuity there are three different ways to write the definition of continuous function right so out of that i am going to use the third one so you know by for given epsilon but already epsilon we have so i am writing for above epsilon greater than zero therefore for above epsilon greater than zero there exist delta greater than zero such that such that see as i told you earlier so in terms of d and d dash also we can write but i am going to use the third one okay third expression that is uh, f of open ball okay in x with center x radius delta is subset of b d dash f of x epsilon getting so this is two i will say that means there will be an open ball around x 
with radius delta and f of image of this ball will be a subset of this ball okay so this is definition of continuity sense so one and two what can we write a subset of b b is subset of c so that's why we can write a subset of c so i will clearly mention from one and two so f of b d x delta this is subset of this one but this is subset of u so this is subset of u getting so this is an open ball what we have got here open ball in x one result we have seen in previous semester that is every open ball is an open set so that's why this is open set also i am calling it as v okay so see let me remove this part it is not required now just a minute huh then i am calling it as v open ball with center x radius delta sorry delta is an open set in x it is an open set in x such that f of v this is my v right i am calling it as v f of v subset of u so we get an open set containing x this is open ball with center x so obviously it contains its center x such that f of v is subset of u in this way we prove this part getting so now we have to prove the converse part that means all these things we have to assume now and we have to prove that simply f is continuous at x let us do that make a screenshot of it then we will go further in converse part what we do we assume the entire condition i have written all things here and simply we have to prove that f is continuous at x okay so let us do that i will draw the diagram simultaneously it is easy to understand if you have a diagram okay so this is matrix space xd right and this is another matrix space yd dash this is yd dash f is a function from x to y right see there is one point x there is one point x so see f is uh, continuous at x and uh, this thing we have to prove here i will mention x belongs to capital x so obviously f of x belongs to y f of x will be here it is in y okay what i am doing i am taking one epsilon i am going to prove that function is continuous obviously i am going to use epsilon delta condition okay to prove the continuity let epsilon greater than 0 be given i have taken one epsilon then then b d dash f of x epsilon is an open set in y see what i'm doing here we have one point f of x in y we have some epsilon also radius also so i'm doing i'm drawing a ball around f of x okay with radius epsilon so we will have a ball here so in previous semester we have already proved every open ball is an open set so that's why it is an open set okay this is open set in y so let us use the given condition given information for every open subset u of y containing f of x same condition we have this is also uh, open uh, set contain, uh, uh, containing f of x right so by this condition i can write so by our assumption i will mention by our assumption what can we write by our assumption see what is the difference huh? here simply u we have and we have this ball this is the only difference remaining part is same by our assumption there exists i will copy the same thing there exists open set v of uh, x containing x such that such that what can we write such that f of v subset of this is my u b d dash f of x right and epsilon we have that means uh, our assumption says there exists an open set v there exists an open set v containing a such that f of v subset of okay that means if you take its image there it will be subset of this ball getting but see we have one information that is x belongs to v and v is open here x belongs to v and v is 
open so that's why you know that definition of open set there exists radius r greater than 0 so is such that open ball around this x subset of v so open so therefore there exist instead of i r i am taking delta delta greater than 0 such that open ball with center x radius delta subset of okay this is an x d subset of v i am calling it as 3 and this is 4 getting so that means we are getting a ball here around x with center x and radius delta so what will happen see this is subset of v and f of v subset of this one getting my point this is subset of v so if i take function on both sides what will happen so if you take function let me remove this part so we'll have some space to write so therefore instead of 4 this implies f of b d x delta subset of f of v we will call it as 4 now see what will happen again a subset of b b subset of c so we can write a subset of c so by 3 and 4 we can write it but there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we'll go further so if you combine 3 and 4 what we get a subset of b b subset of c so that's why a subset of c so the same thing okay a subset of b b subset of c so a subset of c so same thing i have written here right so this is a definition of continuous function so that's why we can declare f is continuous at x so therefore f is continuous at x so in this way we proved getting the f is continuous at x in both way we proved so therefore we can say the theorem is Proof is over here. Okay, here's the theorem. Thank you. Bye-bye.